Ray Ginger's Alt Gelds America, The Lincoln Ideal vs. Changing Realities, delves into the complex interplay between political ideals and the ever-evolving social and economic realities of the late 19th and early 20th centuries in the United States. Focusing on John Peter Altgeld, a key figure in Illinois politics, Ginger explores how Altgeld's commitment to the Lincolnian ideal of democracy intersected with the tumultuous changes occurring in the nation during his time. Altgeld, a self-made man who had risen from humble beginnings to become the governor of Illinois, is presented as a dedicated advocate for the principles of equality, justice, and individual rights. His reverence for Abraham Lincoln, the great emancipator, served as a guiding star in his political journey. Ginger's narrative unveils Altgeld's tireless pursuit of these ideals, emphasizing his passionate commitment to social justice and his unwavering belief in the power of government to rectify societal injustices. However, Altgeld's time as governor coincided with an era marked by significant social, economic, and political transformations. The late 19th century witnessed the rise of industrialization, urbanization, and increasing income inequality. Ginger vividly illustrates the labor struggles and societal shifts that challenged Altgeld's adherence to the Lincolnian ideal. The Pullman Strike of 1894, in particular, stands as a pivotal moment in Altgeld's political career, as he sought to mediate the conflict between labor unions and corporate interests, facing criticism from both sides. Ginger skillfully weaves in the historical context of Altgeld's America, demonstrating how these evolving realities tested the Lincolnian ideal of democracy. Altgeld's attempts to balance the interests of workers, corporations, and the government exemplify the intricate web of political forces at play during this transformative period. He emerges as a character who grappled with the complexities of his era, attempting to bridge the gap between the ideals of the past and the exigencies of the present. The author's examination of Altgeld's controversial pardon of the Haymarket anarchists further underscores the clash between idealism and pragmatism. Altgeld's decision to pardon those convicted in the aftermath of the Haymarket riot was a bold move driven by his belief in the rule of law and justice. However, it was met with fierce opposition and threatened his political career. Ginger's portrayal of this incident reveals Altgeld as a man who was willing to uphold his principles, even when it came at great personal and political cost. Ginger also delves into Altgeld's progressive policies, which attempted to address the social and economic challenges of the time. Altgeld's advocacy for labor rights, child labor laws, and fair wages demonstrates his commitment to translating the Lincolnian ideal into practical policy. These efforts, while not always successful, exemplify his determination to create a more equitable society. Furthermore, Ginger sheds light on Altgeld's stance on civil liberties and free speech, showing his dedication to protecting individual rights in a period when these rights were frequently under threat. Altgeld's fight against the suppression of free speech and his support for the rights of dissenters underscore his unyielding commitment to democratic values. In conclusion, Ray Ginger's Altgeld's America, The Lincoln Ideal vs. Changing Realities, provides a compelling exploration of the complexities of late 19th and early 20th century America through the lens of John Peter Altgeld's political career. Ginger masterfully dissects the tension between the enduring Lincolnian ideals of democracy and the tumultuous changes of the era. Altgeld's unwavering dedication to justice, equality, and individual rights, even in the face of formidable challenges, makes for a captivating narrative that offers profound insights into the interplay of political ideals and evolving realities in American history.